Hey everybody, it's Zach Hurst with EV Resource here, and today we're doing a 70 mile an hour range test with the Polestar 2. The reason that I wanted to do this is because every test isn't going to be exactly the same. It's not an exact science. So I want to start doing these tests here in Virginia along I-95. I've already got a looped route mapped out, figured out exactly where I want to do this. And the reason for that is if you go north, you want to come back south so that way if there's any topographical changes or wind changes that way it kind of evens out and you can get somewhat of a scientific test so to follow the uh guidelines essentially that inside evs has set for their 70 mile an hour range tests i'm going to follow that exactly because i want to be able to uh let people compare you know anything that you do scientifically, you wanna have somewhat of a standard. So I'm gonna be following the standard that they've set. 70 mile an hour, it's going to be GPS confirmed. I'm gonna have the climate control set at 70 degrees, fan speed at its very lowest. Tire pressures are bumped to the manufacturer recommended, 41 PSI up front, 42 in the back. Now in other tests, they've gotten around 200 miles or so, a little bit more. So it'll be interesting to see if the test that I do today will be similar. You know, we can confirm those numbers. This Polestar 2 is the all-wheel driver, dual motor. It uh, definitely has a lot of power, but of course we're not gonna be using that for 70 mile an hour test or just setting the cruise control and going. The loops I have set are actually to drive from the north of R Richmond here up to Fredericksburg, about 50 miles, come back. So to do 200 miles, we're actually gonna do two full laps, if you will, of the loop and we'll see how it goes. First things first, I'm gonna plug into the Electrify America chargers here, charge up to 100% and then we'll get on the road. So plugging in is super easy. They've got the J1772 plug here. You remove the cap to get full access to the entire CCS combo plug. With Electrify America, you wanna plug in first. So we'll go ahead and do that. All right, and now we'll go over here. Now, I do have an Electrify America account. However, today I'm gonna to just use a credit card and swipe along the credit card reader. All right, so we're starting at 94% state of charge to get back up to 100. Shouldn't take too long. All right, we are at 100%. It's showing 240 miles there. 230 here i reset the trip meter so we'll see how things go and uh let's get on the road so we've got a very short distance to get back on the highway one of the reasons i like this electrify america location is it's maybe a half a mile from interstate 95 and uh, so i'm going to be going north to fredericksburg about 50 miles or so I've got an exit already picked there that I'm gonna turn around and come back. And so we're just gonna do loop style. And God, these cars are, <laughs> people are crazy right now. I hope, I hope I don't have too many cars on the highway getting in the way of um, being able to maintain 70 miles an hour. Now, according to the test standards, if you will, if you do slow down a little bit, like 67, 68, then you can make up for that a little bit by driving slightly quicker after that. So if I run into that situation, that's what I will do and try to mimic the, uh, the, the test standard, if you will, as closely as possible. In the name of science, slow and smooth, not a whole lot of throttle input I don't want to use all the energy just accelerating because that will ruin everything. That's not quite the point. Although this is a fun car to do that with, just not for a 70 mile an hour range test. All 
right, pulling onto the highway now. Slowly accelerating. Nobody else is gonna like that, but luckily there's nobody behind me in the lane, so that should be fine. There is more traffic right now than I really ideally would like to see. Hopefully that won't be a problem going forward. All right, 70 miles an hour on the cruise control. I'm gonna pull up the GPS and verify that because I wanna be accurate. So I am showing 70 miles an hour here as well. So we are good. I'm gonna set the cruise control and go for a few hours. <laughs> I am going to say goodbye for now and I'll see you guys. I'll check back in at around 25% usage or 75% state of charge on the battery. So one little hack, if you will, I noticed yesterday in the sunlight coming through the glass roof that it just wasn't tinted enough for me to be comfortable. So I don't wanna crank the AC obviously for this test because that'll use more energy than I think is fair. So I took the window shades from for the sunroof, or not the sunroof, the uh, windshield, and I put them up top where the glass roof is. So now I'm in the shade. I don't have to worry about the sun beating down on me from above and should be a lot more comfortable. So. You have a Polestar, maybe maybe they make something for the roof. I don't know, I haven't looked into it, so I don't know for sure. But uh, you can be in, ingenuitive, I guess, or, or cheap, <laughs> and just get something from Walmart, and it works. So I'm here at the turnaround point, gone 50.7 miles, and the range is actually showing me, I've only used 80, or I'm sorry, state of charge is at 81%. So the car is actually being a little bit more efficient than I had anticipated, which is okay because on the way back, I'm actually going to go a little bit further than the starting point by an exit, maybe two, uh, in the middle of this. So I'm gonna go just a little bit further before turning around and that should still mean that we can end at the starting point uh, once the trip is done. So that's interesting. You know, 81%, 51.3 miles now. Um, I believe when Tom Malagny was doing this test, he was at like 56 miles for 25% of the battery. So I'm kind of getting right close to that number. Get back up to 70 mile an hour here and set that. So we'll be in, it'll be interesting to see how close to Tom's numbers uh, I get. So once again, I'll check back in at 75% state of charge on the battery and give you guys an update on how the vehicle's doing. All right, so we are at 75% state of charge and I've actually driven 62 miles, 62 and a half. Um, that is much, much better efficiency than I was anticipating. Uh, so at 25% of the way through and uh, yeah, you know, 62 miles, I'll, I'll put the official number at 62 and that that's pretty impressive. We'll see how the rest of this shakes out. a little bit of math here. The efficiency rating is 32.5, okay, well, it just ticked over to 32.6 uh, kilowatt hours per 100 miles. So doing the math on that, if you divide it by 100, you get 0.326 kilowatt hours per mile. You take the 75 kilowatt hour usable battery pack 
and that ends up being about 230 miles of range or so that it, we should be getting by the end of this. So we'll see how it truly ends up. Um, I'm feeling pretty confident about it and uh, I'm gonna adjust my route to kind of match the expectation of about 220, 230 miles or so. Towards the end of this, like I don't wanna be stranded on the side of the road at zero. So I'm gonna have to get a little creative towards the end of this to make sure that I do end up at the charging station and not, um, you know, dead on the shoulder waiting for a tow truck. So uh, that would be bad. So uh, we'll see, but you know, I'm doing the math as we go along here. And right now, it, I would expect about 230 miles, maybe a little bit less than that uh, at 70 miles an hour, but uh, we'll see. All right, so I'm getting off the highway. I'm at 54% state of charge, gone 107.7 miles. Um, I'm gonna turn around here because this stint was a little longer. The next one's gonna be a little bit longer. It is showing me that my turnaround point up north, I'm gonna be there with 25% state of charge on the battery, which is perfect. So we'll turn around there and hopefully end up back at the starting point with uh, nearly 0% on the battery, which of course, that's what we're going for. All right, we are at 50% state of charge, average efficiencies, 32.6 it's kind of varied between 32.4.5 and 0.6 uh, but halfway through it's showing 115 miles my calculations were about a uh, 230 miles so that seems to be maintaining uh, somewhat fair accuracy there and yeah I'm holding on to the steering wheel there you go uh, <laughs> anyway so uh, yeah yeah, I think we're doing good. The temperature's gone up a bit. You know, it's no longer 75 degrees outside. It's 82, but that's okay. And we're gonna keep going strong. Something interesting that I've noticed, it's showing 100 miles of estimated range there. But then when I come over here, it's showing 85 miles of projected range with potentially 100 max. So which is it? A hundred miles or 85? That is interesting. I gotta say, watching some of the other videos of, geez, bumps, uh, range tests that other people have performed, they've commented a lot about the sunshine coming through the glass roof really heating you as a person. And of course, I decided to wear a black shirt today. Um, I'm really, really glad that I put this little sun protector up there on the glass roof because I'm sure without it that I'd be sweating because I'm not going to turn the climate control colder or the fan speed higher because I don't want to really disrupt the uh, test. So I'm glad that's there. Honestly, if I had one of these cars and owned one, you know, permanently, I think I would probably get an aftermarket sunshade if there's one available or make one because I wouldn't want the sun beating down on me all the time like that. The glass roof is pretty but I think Polestar probably could have done a better job with tinting or just keeping keeping some of that heat out. Alright, 25% left on the battery. We're at 173 miles, 32.8 kilowatt hours per 100 miles efficiency, which is actually a little worse. So what I think is going on, the temperature is now 85 degrees, uh, if you can see that. So I, I'm guessing that maybe it's got some fans that are trying to keep the battery cool because the efficiency has definitely suffered a bit. This is saying 60 miles of range. We need to go 40. This is saying 45 miles of range. So I think we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be cutting it close a little bit here. Man, am I glad I started the test when I did? The traffic on the other side has backed up. I mean, they are dead stopped. That is wild. Had I gotten stuck in that, this the whole trip would be done. All right, I've got a notice of reduced power due to low battery charge. 
That happened at 9%. I've got the little turtle symbol. And so I'll just hit OK. Not a big deal. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> All right, another message here. Low range, do you want to find a charging station? Well, no. I know where the charging station is. So that came on at 5%. And um, if I go over here, this is telling me I'm gonna have 1% left when I pull into the charging station. Which if I pull in with 1%, I'll be happy with that. Um, that's probably close enough to zero to uh, you know get some solid data out of this test and we can extrapolate the efficiency numbers and mileage and all of that. I'm still at 70 miles an hour, so I don't know when the power is gonna cut so much that I cannot sustain that speed anymore. That'll be interesting. I am expecting that to happen uh, here at some point. So we'll see. All right, so I am cutting my speed at this point because it's telling me I have three miles left but this is telling me 2.1 miles and 0% state of charge by the time I get there. So I'm going slower because I'm just, I'm not gonna risk it. Oops, what is that? Oh wow, it's telling me I can't get there. Uh oh. Okay, yep, I'm gonna go slow. And I've only got a mile to the exit. Hopefully that'll be okay. Crap. Uh, I really, 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 really hope this will work out. Uh, I mean, look, I've gone 231.3 miles. That's pretty damn good if you ask me. Um, ugh, making me nervous. And we are officially at 0%. I just got off on the exit. I've got a half a mile to go. 0%. This says two miles, which is... Like I said, I've been saying this whole time, there's a discrepancy between what's showing on this screen and what the other screen shows. Um, all right, I, I really hope that uh, the car will allow me to continue after the light turns green. Otherwise I am gonna be stuck here and I need to go in there. I've turned the AC off completely. <laughs> like. I'm not even, I'm not even gonna use that. Oh man. Whew. I'm, I'm three tenths of a mile. I just need to go three tenths and then I'll be fine. Whew, <laughs> I made it. Zero percent on the battery. It was telling me I didn't have enough charge to get here. <laughs> I made it. I'm finished with the 70 mile an hour range test. I am really actually very happy with the number. All right, so officially 32.5 kilowatt hours per 100 miles, 232.9 miles. So I think I'm gonna consider that to be like 230 miles of 70 mile an hour range test, uh, which, I've been saying this whole time, that's kind of how the math figured out. 32.5 kilowatt hours per 100 miles will give you 230 miles at 75 kilowatt hours. So I'm right there. Obviously Polestar built a little bit of a buffer in there after the 0%. I am in no way going to test how much of a buffer that actually is. We're gonna leave it at this. So I hope you enjoyed watching this. Of course, before you leave, go ahead and subscribe, hit like on the video, and leave all your comments down below. Uh, I'm excited to hear what you guys think about this. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time.